Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer series by yours truly, but Sir Bob and all these other gentlemen here. We have Ben Magnus. Hi. He'll be playing as Poland again, but this time fascist Poland instead of stupid democratic Poland. Yeah, democratic Poland, blurry shit. <laughs> yep. Uh, Nems, he'll be playing as Italy. Ciao. Commissar Roach, who uh, may be a bit uh, hoarse and quiet for a few episodes because he's got bronchitis. Hey, guys. He's going to be playing as Romania. And then Midgeman as Japan. Arigato, Midge Mr. Bobato. Oh, oh my. <laughs> all right. So all the countries aside from that have a, a, sl a slider available, that is, aside from Italy and Japan, have been turned up to full this time around. And uh, we are fascists, but we are not the Axis. I have a feeling we're actually going to be doing being uh, the Imperi inside the, uh, was it Novus Imperium Romanum? Did I get that I right? That's it. That's the one that's Italy, which Nems is playing as, so he's going to be our glorious reader. Oh, yeah. we, well, we can always go Mishimusha. Mishimusha? Yeah, <laughs> is, that, is that what I thought it was Mishimusha? It was Mishimusha I didn't know there was like a mush mouth of lions. There's, there's very few things in Polish that have stuck from Nanaya's lessons to me, but I was one of them. Mishimusha, I think. Mishimusha? Is I, I'm, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. <laughs> you sound like your mouth's full of pudding when you say the it. The Poland faction. <laughs> Join the a glori gl glorious Japanese faction. That'd be great. <laughs> the oh, the Eastern and I'm playing as Grim. Everyone admits I'm playing as Spain, which I'm not actually fascist yet, but I will be. I'm not fascist yet either, but I'm I'm all good there. Don't you worry. Neither Work am I. About it. <laughs> right. That's true. Did a lot of us aren't fascists right now. But, but, None of us are. Not... I'm I'm a fascist. What oh, you said? Oh right, I forgot about you. I forgot. But you're so far away. I'm in Asia again. It's fine. I really, I actually really enjoyed playing as Japan in my this my solo series. I gave it a go offline before this, uh, unlike I did uh, like India. Um, so I'm hoping to like know a bit more about it. Uh, oh, that's right. I've got the just the vanilla tree is Spain. <laughs> oh no! I can't believe that Spain of all nations, how integral it is to like the early game, doesn't have its own, you know focus tree and whatnot it's almost like right, it's not I, I have time taking forward just at speed one for now and that's one so I nems actually has a war in his hands are you counting oh. complaints again ben <laughs> no, no no what we're doing is uh uh the, the road slide it's almost like it's not a finished game he can't say it so i'm taking i'm, I'm doing it for him and i'm keeping a runny tally of how many times we say it okay oh I think those there. Uh, Let's see. Strengthen okay. the Polish state. Do that. Uh, okay, yeah, and no, now we wait. <laughs> God, I got so much. Seize the means of production. Uh, All right. no, uh, basic training. Oh shit! Train those. Add a couple of lines. It's been a very popular line recently in uh, a lot of the Conan I've been doing. It's almost like it's not a finished game. No, no, no. Well, that's true because it's an early access. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, because uh... it isn't. <laughs> yeah, that one's literally. No, the uh, season means of production, like oh. line, like over and over. So I saw, did you have to, to restart the server, Bob? I thought I saw you said you had to roll it back or something. I had to, I had to roll it back because I was experiencing this uh, very frustrating, uh, like, problem where my character, I couldn't, I couldn't kill him. I couldn't starve him out. I couldn't make him die of thirst. I couldn't teleport myself. I couldn't alter my, the state of my character in any way. And I was just looking at a white screen with like full corruption and uh, no ticking down meters for thirst or hunger at all. So I everybody, could do welcome to Bob's a little too addicted to Conan Exiles. Yeah, I've noticed that's all he's played recently. So see, look, see, here, see how many hours I put into it now over the past not even a week. As of this, 60 hours. So, welcome everybody to Intervention <laughs> with uh, Bob. Uh, <laughs> Bob, you time. have a problem. We've all that, written that, letters. That, um, that first day with the game was really, really fun. We, we really enjoyed it. It's not a bad game. It's pretty fun. It just, I think it needs more content. Oh, oh God. Yeah, clearly. It needs to have a lot more content and... Um, I don't know, so, some way of informing the player uh, how to do specific things, like making gruel. Making God, that was fucking frustrating, getting that sorted. I figuring out how to get gruel was, it took a lot of time. 
what well, well you and i couldn't figure it out like, like at all we're like well seeds is part of this because it says so on the thing yeah you know and then it's like okay we got the slave and he wants to eat gruel seeds are a part of this somehow don't know how well so, what i thought was funny is that we managed like we logically managed to piece other things together perfectly fine like okay this this building gives us a special cleaver and requires special meat. So we pay, make make the cleaver, then we use the cleaver on this on humans, and then we get human meat. Then we can eat eat the humans and become proper cannibals. And it was like it was like a logical sequence of event. But the gruel thing, no, it just it was it was just trial and error. No, I ended up just shoving a bunch of shit into a campfire, just seeing like what makes gruel, what happens, how do. All right, so uh, stack at the Soviet border, and that's about it so far. Should you stack the German border? Well, if I don't necessarily, uh, if we're going to be fascist, I might not be at war with them right off the bat, but I might be at war with the Soviets. Hey, Nems. Yeah. (laughs) Please keep saying, hey, smooth skin. Uh, How how, uh, integral to your plot? For a new faction is Bulgaria. Um, very. Oh, we, I mean, we need Roma- we need Romania to take that for sure. I guess. Is that was that what you're asking me to do? What do you want me to say? Well, I, I just that's my <laughs> that's my current expansion path. Unless I want to go through Hungary's gates of hell in the mountains, or attack Yugoslavia. So Bulgaria is kind of the option. Yeah, that's fine. You can be the Black Sea player there. Okay, that feel, that's great. Man, that's hard to hear. <laughs> like my eyes are watering listening well, to you th- talk. The yeah. thing is, the thing is, I think with Italy first is that uh... I just don't know the focus tree, so I wanted to double check. Yeah, let me double check the focus tree. Hold on. Yeah, Italy. Time. Well, I mean, we we could be Medjugorje. I mean, it's you know, it's, like I don't know uh, what countries here are able to actually form a faction. I know Japan I does co co prosperity sphere. Uh, I think there's something in my my tree that allows me to it. Really? So, so I, I, it's part of my claims on Yugoslavia tree. But if it doesn't exist, then I think I skip it. Okay, that's good then. So I just have to make sure that gets skipped before I get to. Problem is, Italy first is after that. So. Well, I don't can... expect them to take that. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Just, Ideological as as fanaticism. As long as you can get them quickly, it shouldn't be a problem. Italy first, after Bulgaria. It's a hell of a slogan. All right, so let's see. Right. If you think it's hard to hear me talk like this, it's even harder to talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Roach. All these skill one generals make me cry. Uh, right, Bolt's so got some good generals. Generals. Draw closer to Britain. No paramilitarism. Go right. Have you uh, ever gotten that uh, the uh, the bear to spawn? The bear to spawn. Um, Is it a thing in this, in this word? Yeah, there's like a bear that you can you can have as a general in part Hoi Four. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I thought well, he was talking about Conan again. I was like, what? What? What's going on? I, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, the Polish bear, um, it's Vo- Wojciech or Wojciech. Um, I think it's Wojciech. Uh, it was pretty famous in, in you know, Polish military, and it would make sense for them to put an Easter egg like that in the game. So I think it's feasible that it's a thing. Hearts of Iron it- 4, Commander, Commander Vo- Votek. Wojciech? Votek. I think they really missed a joke if they didn't name him Commander Glitterpaw. <laughs> <laughs> General Glitterbaugh. Yeah. I got a thing. Spanish election, 1936. We are going to unite the conservative groups in the phalange. In the way? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be just sitting here building things and fascism and making. Fascism and Right. Let's grab subs and destroyers. That's. Because we're, we're totally going with the, the fascist Spain. Our. Um... I'm I'm just assuming that the navy is still not balanced correctly, and just like just dis- just fleets of destroyers are just OP as shit. Is it destroyers or light cruisers? It used to be light cruisers, but I think they patched that pretty early. Destroyers and heavy cruisers. Oh, so just just like in Hoy Three, heavy just spam heavy cruisers. All right, yeah. now here comes the Spanish Civil War. Whoa, here it comes. All oh, right, why? so would you like troops? 
Bob? Yeah, absolutely. Any, any of everybody should be sending shit over to me. Right well, I'm, I'm the only one who can, I think. <laughs> I'm too good. I'm too fucking goody fucking two shoes. Well, what kind of troops would you like? I'm gonna send some motorized tanks. and some ja tanks. Japanese tanks, clearly quality. Oops. I just declined some volunteers from Germany. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's Whoops. too funny. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's go. Let's go assist our fascist brethren in. Uh, send volunteers. It's, I can send four. Send divisions. Oh shit! I'm not building any factories. Fuck. I am. <laughs> I had a lot of shit to deal with at the beginning of this. I'm going to blame that. I have um, nearly nothing. Yeah, I've got something called China on my border that I've been trying oh, to... Oh, right. China. I love China. I love China. Never heard of it. <laughs> Anybody else looking forward to the the Asia-centric DLC for U4? Oh, uh... I was looking forward to you. I, I have not kept up with it. What's the what's the scoop? Yeah. Um. Uh. Japan's getting like a total overhaul. Um. So that it's, I'm pretty sure they're they, yeah they, they're increasing the number of provinces in Japan and uh, putting in a lot of um like daimyo specific uh features. Um. There's a new mechanic uh, coming all over the world called devastation. Which I believe is kind of like uh, when you kind of like loot and pillage in CK2 as as you progress through war. So area, so like when like the fucking league war fires and battles are fought, you know, all over the place, Europe becomes like a, just a wash in flames, and provinces, you know, aren't don't produce as much. They don't produce as much taxes and manpower and whatnot after you know the place has been devastated. And then there's ages. Um, which is kind of like institutions. Uh, they're tied to a specific dates and um, like the colonial, like, like uh, there's, I think there's a colonialism war on and like, it's kind of like a Napoleonic centric one. Uh, and there's kind of uh, like stretch goals uh, to get bonuses. Yeah. Like, do like this. golden so ages. It sounds like they're adding a lot of stuff from the last CK2 expansion. Like that devastation sounds a lot yeah. like that. Thing they had prosperity the thing yeah yeah that one yeah um but it all looks it all, all looks pretty pretty good to me that's the convoy raiding fleet this is all right oh bob i was watching your um uh what's it called kaiserak britain campaign uh-huh the most recent episode that's gone up jesus christ did you miss a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> Like watching you fumble about trying to buy oil. That was hilarious. <laughs> there's just <laughs> there's just no good quantities of it just sitting around. Just, this... Oh shit, no, this is aluminium. Fuck. Uh yeah. That, yeah. that and the entire uh, that and also the fact that Canada had invaded through Newcastle. Yeah, that one you're, uh you're, you're prepping you you still haven't noticed at the end of the episode, but like oh dear. You're prepping to invade Ireland and like Canada's already here. They're yeah. here. That series is not ending, though. I promise you that. That's uh, oh, it, it keeps going. I pull it out of the fire. You yeah, actually I'm physically kidding. hurt me when you went with the autonomy tree, with everything. Like, well, I didn't know it was it was functionally like you know uh, like democracy when I was doing it. It's just it's like sure the autonomous. Why not? Sure, yeah, go with them. These games really make democracy seem like just the most boring thing ever, don't they? Well, I mean, it's not real democracy because he's still like a syndicalist power. It's just democracy light with socialism. Go, Bob! Hooray! You. Uh, Japan's nice. legions have arrived. Woo! As soon as I'm done over here, I'll, I'll get moving there. I'm too goody two shoes right now to bother sending troops over. Poland doesn't care. <laughs> Poland first. <sighs> but the war does go okay, so. Well, Marco Polo uh, Bridge is in it. If, if uh, multi ever, all other multiplayer series have taught me anything, all you need to do is uh, VP rush the capital and you win. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. It's almost like it's not a finished game. Oh, there we go. Two. <laughs> I, I literally have a post-it pad over here and a pencil next to me for <laughs> take care of this shit. Try to help here, Roach. It's really appreciated. <laughs> oh my god. Nails on a All chalkboard right. when he talks. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, that's what it feels like. Well, at least you're consistent. Come on, you guys. Get into combat. Swine. Combat? What's that? <laughs> Something you wouldn't understand anything about. I, w I would not. Apparently, I have no intel on any of the battles I'm in. That's All an right, interesting so feature. Polish militarism. Then we do Poland first. There you go. Come on, get some more experience. Oh, I actually. No, that's that's gonna that's gonna go to making my own faction if I do that. Do I want to do that? Do you want to do that? I don't know. Do you want me to depends turn around on and whether hit the or not you're actually depends on whether or not you're actually gonna help uh... us this time around. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't take long for that one to come out. He's saving his voice for those kind of things. All right. So now I know. Now I know where to build my forts. Um. Let's see. So if I go, this is this is for forming my own faction. This is to go, buddy, buddy. Uh, with... yeah, Midge, go ahead and hit 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 the like the north pocket. With yeah. Germany. Germany. Hey, you guys, you're going to delete your order now. Uh, hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Civilian factories. Those See this good. lovely place called Barcelona? Yeah, you're going on holiday there. Enjoy. All right, all of you need to get into the air. Minus the naval bombers. Yeah, all all thirty six of my glorious gladiator fighters. <laughs> wait, you've got Gloucester gladiators. Uh, I think they were called. Oh, wait, no, they're just fighters. I was I was mixing <laughs> up Galicia and uh and, and gladiator. Never mind. <laughs> they both have G's in them. It's kind of say you've got Gloucester gladiators. You got the British Air Force. Do they teach you guys much about World War Two in in England and when you're in like uh? When you're in, you know, like primary school. Oh, loads! Just not about English World War Two. Yeah, I can give you a full in-depth study of uh, Germany from about 1919 to 1938. But like, <laughs> anything about Britain, the only thing I know is about the World War One home front. I'm to say because when I was in high school, they taught us uh, uh, everything. The the entire all both World Wars, World War One and World War Two, was covered in one week. And it was only basically only what we did. Yeah, well, yeah, we didn't even do that. I know more about the African American civil rights movement through school than I do, than I do British involvement of World War Two. See, I took an AP history course, and they covered World War One and World War Two in separate areas, but they each devoted like I don't know how many weeks to them. See, I am. I'm gonna nod and pretend I knew what that meant. AP history is like an advanced history uh, class. Oh, okay. AP is advanced placement. Oh Which yeah, means well, it's, it's a it's a fancy course that if you pay money, you can get college credit for. Which I did because okay. I didn't plan on going to college. How goes the war, Bob? It goes well. Looks to be. There's a lot of little pockets I see. Very pockety. Very pockety. So much pocket. I bet the fighting oh, in those pockets pocket. is pretty hot. Oh, God. <laughs> hot pockets. <laughs> Whenever I talk to uh, uh, viewers and fans from out outside the United States, I always get asked about fucking hot pockets. I don't know why. I think they're disgusting. You're always asked about hot pockets? Yes! What? Are they not a thing anywhere else? I don't. We don't have them. It's just, it's, I, I personally, I think they're disgusting. 
I don't know. I went through a time when I was incredibly poor. So, you know, I got used to them. Yeah, well, I, I I did the same thing, but what I did was just bought ingredients for food and made stuff at home because that was cheaper than buying prepackaged stuff. Toilet? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't think I've forgotten, Mitch. No, I, I, now now you've just made me sad that I don't have a pack. <laughs> God damn. Oh, he's sad. That's How, sad. How's the war in Ethiopia going? Oh, it's going. I'm getting ready to take... I mean, I'm I'm winning on all fronts, and I'm assaulting the capital. It's just, you know, I'm just speeches. watching question marks dance across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just... I actually find like UK food, like the uh, junk food variety, to be named ironically, or at least it seems like that. Like uh, I don't know what it is, but I know they have a junk food there that's like a it's it's called what's its what's its yeah cheesy what's its. Yeah, and like, cheesy what's it? Aren't they just like cheesy, cheese puffs? Che yeah, like they're cheese. They're cheese puffs. <laughs> I heard about these things that sound absolutely disgusting. That's basically a deconstructed loaf of bread dehydrated <laughs> into a stick. <laughs> I am going to send you all a tub of marmite, and you're going to freak food. out. Well, after uh, after mainly because it looks like the blood of a xenomorph, but uh... I, I plan on moving in like a month. And after I did, I was going to set up, go to the local post office and set up a PO box so that people could actually send me shit if they wanted to. Are you uh, buying a house? Requests for that, and uh, I I fully intend on Midge sending me just the most disgusting <laughs> shit. Are you buying a house? Uh no, not this year. Oh, we're sad. just moving because uh, we need a bigger fucking place. We're gonna need a bigger house. <laughs> Kind of Aren't you budget. getting an actual office this time? I am getting an actual office this time. Ah, so you won't be in your living room. Yeah, exactly. I'll have an office. It'll I be great. I, had an I, office. Can, I can close the door. I have an office at home, home, like at my but, parents' house. But also, um, uh, because like the rent in our, our place is through the fucking roof because we're right next to Disney property. So it just drives up the, the land value of the region. Um, but I don't work for Disney anymore, so it doesn't doesn't help us at all paying that exorbitant amount for rent in an area we don't want to be in. So we're moving away from this area uh, where we can get an apartment twice the same, twice the size of the one we're in right now for about the same amount of money. Well, that's good, I guess. I'll have an you should just move out to the Midwest, Ben, where the job market's in the toilet, or the, uh, the house market's in the toilet. So, I mean, you could get a house pretty cheap out here. <laughs> Trust me, I don't love Florida fucking hot as balls and there's bugs and and humidity and sweat and i feel like i can't take my dog swimming because she might get eaten by an alligator ah, yeah. you're fine i grew Try up in live. florida for a couple of years alligators are like just kind of like uh like dumb reptilian puppies at least before they get to like adulthood, or, or, or they can be used as weapons if you don't like the uh, the order that is presented to you at the drive-through. Hashtag Florida things. If any of you guys don't know what, what I'm talking about, <laughs> there, there there was a uh, uh, an incident a few months ago where someone threw a live alligator through the drive-through of a McDonald's. Wow. See, actually, wow. the, the the part of that that gets me the most. Kind did, of you, impressive. did you just unironically use a hashtag? <laughs> I think so. I don't ben. know if I've ever done that before. Ben. What do I do? <laughs> I, don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, my. I think we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I don't know if you need to talk to anybody, though. Oh. Just let your voice rest. <laughs> You're under the God, table. Boss, so you shut the fuck up, Roach. <laughs> Oh geez. So I let's say I only have three provinces on the Romanian border that I need to fortify. Noted. Noted. The Romanian border. That's gonna be your, your fascist friend though. Yeah, theoretically. Remember wow. how the last game started in the first episode? We're all I gonna do. be friendly it, allies. It, it all started because Poland said no. That's not how I remember it. You're remembering it wrong then. Ben, you have the memory of a golden retriever. 
I don't know. Petty's Petty's back. I've got a, a wonderful memory. Well, I by your standards, yes. <laughs> by I, mean, I, I, I remember I Poland really... lasting a very long time and killing very many bad guys in its in its uh, rise and fall and re rise and then fall. After it threw the the uh, the the lowlands under the bus. <laughs> well, I don't know if you could use that analogy. You're sorry. How could I possibly even reach you to push you under the bus? No. Oh, yeah, there we Spain. go. Hey. I'm getting my troops back. Is Spain easier to trudge through than Africa because this is maddeningly slow. Maybe we could oh, go to God. speed five. There we go. Finally, Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, there we go. The Treaty of uh, Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. Uh, Annex Ababa. the fucker. Annex everything. Hey. Take it all. Well, why wouldn't I? Puppet Ethiopia. Wait, what? Well, a white piece. What? Uh, good job. God <laughs> damn it. Did you not click any land? I did. I had. A, it was all green. Oh my no, it uh, needs to be you blue. It too it many to times blue. and you yeah, clicked it on and then off. I did. I saw, you saw it. God I've damn done it. The, I've done that before. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Cue the angry ah! people in the next comment section. Okay. Mother you good truck. now? That was no. goddamn amazing. <laughs> I did that to Luxembourg in one of my playthroughs. So, when can you declare on them again? Uh, uh, yeah, when can Immediately? Canada. No, I have a truce with them. Oh. Uh, May. May. God, I'm sorry, Nims. That's wow. missed out on that my own fault. That's, You're I mean... really missing out on that sweet, sweet two rubber. Yeah. All right, you guys go back there. All right, when's the next no, thing? Wrong Polish side of the militarism. All right, I got to figure out where I'm going with this. <laughs> Pull for the Polish. My comment section won't be any angrier than I am. That's a good point, yeah. Okay, oh, well, you can... I, I am out of my, my civil war, and I am now footloose and fancy free. Fantastic. Hey, my volunteer forces are back. I'm just kind of like massaging the fascists right now. Going, yeah. Massaging oh. the fascists? <laughs> That's really, <laughs> really creepy sounding. I'm desperately trying to build guns. Like they came in and wanted a massage, or like you're you're sneaking up on them like that really creepy coworker. <laughs> I used to I used to have that really creepy coworker. So someone would just come up and start giving you massages. Yeah, we should be sitting in the break room, then someone would walk up behind you, just start rubbing your shoulder, and be like, "Oh, oh, hi, hi, it's 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 you." And then oh. they just start having a conversation while like awkwardly rubbing your shoulders. And I mean, I, how do you not feel someone like tensing up like a brick underneath you? Can I what? help you? <laughs> that just gives them an excuse. You seem really tense. <laughs> oh, God. Well, like, like at one point, that person uh, was like, you know what we should do? We should put someone in the rotation because uh, that's how it, it worked. It is it is the rotate positions like every 45 minutes where you just stand in the break room and give people massages. And all I could think of was, yeah, but there's like nine out of 10 people here. I really don't want touching me in any way. Don't touch me. People that work at Disneyland, like. And if you're watching this now and worked with uh, Ben, figure what out if you? you're one of those people. <laughs> figure out if you're one of the weird people. I didn't want touching me. I'm gonna go with <laughs> yes. Yeah, you that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So dispersed industry. Which one's better, dispersed or concentrated? I think to concentrated. Concentrated, I think, is the better one in just like flat out in. Uh... In Hawaii, Hawaii 4. Okay. Just for the record, this Vanilla. is all part of my plan to farm uh, military experience or army experience. Yeah, totally, sure. Totally all, it's all part of my plan. All right. So I need somebody first. to start influencing my politics. Uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> well, I just have to wait. If you want me to be a part of the axis, that's going to have to happen because I can't, I can't go down the political tree unless I have a ruling party that's fascist. Okay, I just I have to wait 230 days to justify a war goal again. Spain will import or export some of that fascism to you. Thank you. 
So do we do we because I got to figure out which uh, focus tree I'm going down. Uh, so do we want to go, uh, mush to th the Polish thing or Italian thing? Medium mush mush. Mush to mush. Mesh to well, mush. if if Romania is going to eat Bulgaria, then we're going to have to uh, if we want to get into it. Well, actually, because I've got to focus on allows me to create factions. As well, so I could I could just create one with us. Oh, okay. So it doesn't us. really matter. We, we all have a faction, or two or three of us have a faction. One, don't we? Oh, okay. Well, Japan's going to have the co-prosperity sphere if they decide to say screw you, Germany, which we're all going to do anyway. I think. Yes. Oh, I, it was really annoying the other day. I was uh, doing like a test play as Japan, and um, I had Germany. I joined with the Axis, but Germany had already sent volunteers to China. So I was fighting my own ally. <laughs> it, was, it was it was a very strange predicament uh, that I've never kind of come across before. We're just about up on time, gentlemen. Mm. We are. I was just looking at that, too. Mm. So thank you for joining us, everybody, in this first episode of... Uh, Nems Derps what, like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, yeah. I, well, I know that note. I was, I was going to call it something else, but uh, you know, <laughs> that, that works, too. I'm okay with that. It's a great, so thank you for joining us, everybody. Title. Be sure to go check out the uh, other perspectives down below. Of course, I don't know why you'd want to do that because that was some hot Civil War action I just had personally. <laughs> unless, you, unless you want to see the peace deal that Nems brought Yeah, you there. definitely want to see me misclick. Because you can see it on everybody's screen, though. So True. all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. See ya. Bye.